I've got to the point where I just love the grind every single day. This is something that I've been doing since I was little. Yosia, a back row dig. And a perfectly timed ball by Yosia. She's good. I mean, there's no doubt about it. I'm still going after it every single day, and I'm still doing it with the same love and passion is something that I'm just beyond grateful to say. I'm from Long Beach, California. I grew up there my whole life. I was just surrounded by my family, and then my cousins lived down the street, so it was just a big family. That's where all of my morals and values really came from. My parents just did a great job with just like the place we lived in and just creating a fun family environment. I was six years old when I started playing volleyball, but I grew up around it my whole life. My dad and my mom started a volleyball club, Starling South Bay, that basically my entire family played in it. We're a family with six kids. Her older sisters also played volleyball and her older brother. I was a little show off. They would take me to my sister's games. Like I would always be on another court, just like jump serving and showing like people that I can do this and do that at such a young age. When she was six, she was playing with the 10 year olds. She thrived after people kind of complimenting her and commenting about her. So she enjoys that a lot. At times I would watch her and before she would serve a ball, she would look like to see who's watching her. <laughs> I think just all the attention is what really helped her with her game as well. That really fueled my motivation to get better every single day and then I didn't realize that like slowly like I was falling in love with the sport. My dad never liked when we were just like inside and not doing anything, especially on the weekends. So he would just like pack the car up, pack the bikes and that's how you knew you were about to go running. <laughs> When I was little, I was like, why is my dad making me go run? Like, it's literally Christmas. It's always competitive, and that's our nature as, you know, Islanders, we compete. Volleyball is so important because this is a form or means for our kids to utilize their God-given talents and gifts. He is my first coach. So having him as my first coach, I think taught me a lot of discipline and just knowing that he always was just really looking out for me in the best way possible. It's gonna be hard, but you just have to push through it. Like it was just a lot of tough love in volleyball that he taught me. I committed my sophomore year to the University of Texas at Austin. I decided to go there because they were one of the top programs in the nation. As a freshman, I made it to the national championship. They win it three sets to none over the Wisconsin Badgers. As a freshman, it's just like a surreal moment. Like, you've been dreaming about this your whole life. I don't even have words to explain how, like, grateful and just blessed that I was able to be on that stage and just showing out for my family and my teammates. It was just an honorable moment. After my sophomore season, I entered the portal. That was a difficult time for me just because there was a lot of emotions that were going on that I've never felt before. I think I just felt I was never really myself volleyball wise, like I just never felt like I was growing in the right direction. Do I deserve to be at this top program? And am I in the right place to grow beyond the point that I'm at? Coming to terms that I was falling out of love with volleyball like really hit hard for me because that was my whole world. Having to come to terms with that was hard and I would try to put those into words to my parents but not say those exact words because I never wanted to admit it. I knew there was something going on but she always told us that everything was fine. She always gave us the perception that everything is good and she loved it where, you know, where she was. I knew at that stage of her life, she was strong-willed, she was very independent. She kept a lot to herself because I believe she didn't want us to worry about things that she can control. And that's when I realized like, okay, like, am I really falling out of love with it or do I just need to restart? I remember this so vividly. So I entered the portal and literally probably less than 24 hours later, Jake messaged me on Instagram and I there was like I was already getting a lot of messages about transferring so I didn't see any of it. And I was like, who is this guy? Like he's literally in my Instagram and my email and now he's in my text message. Like let me just go call him. 
I think she probably just responded because she was sick of hearing from me. I heard from her right away and we, Coach and I hopped on a, a FaceTime with her. And it was just like off the bat, like it was an instant connection. The way that Jake and Leah like connected to me on a personal level, like rather than volleyball, like they didn't even talk to me about volleyball. The first like 10 minutes of our call, like they just wanted to get to know me. We had her on campus within 48 hours of that call, which was kind of nice. Uh, we knew we wanted her here just because I'd, I'd coached against her. We'd seen her play a ton. It was pretty fast and furious. It just shows like Leah and Jake like really made a great first impression on me to the point where like when I visited here, I just envisioned my whole life. She called and she was like, Mom, this is the place. This is where I want to be. She felt very comfortable about it. Felt like this was just the place she wanted to be and that she could be happy here. And for me, that's all I wanted was for her to be happy. Delani, can you talk about the change, the process, how it came about, what you think? This place was perfect for me. Coach Johnson has been a huge impact on my life already, even though I've only known her for four months. I think it was just knowing that there was just so much potential and growth to be made here. That was something that I wanted to do individually too. Get up, get up. Yeah! Someone of her caliber believing in what we're trying to do means the world and I think it just sets the tone for our gym. The way she plays is just infectious, like it's just different. Miller takes it early. Great diving play by Yusima. Number one for Michigan State. What a talent. Just watching Nalani's uh, leadership and how she controls the backcourt is, is a big inspiration. I am so proud. She really enjoys it here. The coaches, the team. She does feel like she's with family, which is a very big thing for her. She just want to be her and volleyball would be like something she enjoys, not just something she's obligated to do. We're here because we're happy that she's happy. I think I've seen her kind of fall back in love with it. You can tell that she's got just a fire for it. But this next set, we have to start strong and finish strong and keep that same mentality. We have to keep playing as if we're 10 points down. She's elite in the way that she's got a really strong base and she's wanting to continue to get better. So um, that's, a, that's the type of competitor we want in our gym. I love my teammates. They are probably like the best people that I've ever been around. Just like having that positive energy around you just like has a completely different like toll on your life. And just know that while I'm growing, the program is growing like around me as well. I think I finally got to the point where I do love the game of volleyball.